We saw from our report file that an average depth of 0.1 of a metre was achieved across the entire area. However, that doesn't mean that in the middle they didn't take too much strip out and around the edges they didn't take enough. So to check this we can use what's called a depth range file to show exactly how much was taken from each area. Back in our volumes toolbar you can now select the depth colouring icon and this will colour each band a different colour based on its depth. So the original tin is our existing surface, the new tin is the strip surface. Our range file, you can browse for that and go up one level and there should be a file there called stripping survey. Just to take a look at what it looks like we can click on it again and select open and all it is is a series of depths from and to and then a colour associated with each one. So for example from a depth of 400 millimetres to 200 millimetres we have a colour red 004. If you just have a quick look at this you'll notice that we only have 16 colours displayed. So if I wanted to select that red 040 I'd have to select the red colour then put my mouse in there and hit Control D to bring up more colours. And I wanted red 040. I can then save this file and finish. When we create the colours they're going to go into a model and we'll just call that faces. We'll clean this model beforehand even though it doesn't exist at the moment but in case we want to rerun it again later and we'll select a polygon running around the outside of our strip surface which is our change of grade string. We can then click on colour and finish. If we then turn on the model faces we can see from this that we have areas that are the yellow which were the correct depth. In the centre here we've gone too deep and around the edges and through here this area they haven't gone deep enough.